why is it so important to go to space? It's very important for us to go to the space because we are um, the first astronauts we are going to go to the Mars and uh, this is um, we want to show the world that uh, we can. When are you planning to go to space? We'll go to space anytime. Anytime we have the necessary funds um, we'll, be, we'll, we'll go to the, to the space. Likambo boko selinga mama Boko sambai Boko futai Baluka kamoto ya mwana moto boete Bolingi ninye Likambo boko selinga mama Boko sambai Boko futai Baluka kamoto ya mwana moto boete Bolingi ninye Likambo boko selinga mama Boko sambai, boko futai Baluka kamoto ya mwana moto boete Boligi ninye Because I'm not broke. I'm broke. You're broke. Go sell something. Sell your computer. Sell your whatever. I, I want my money now. You know I can now. do that. I can do that. You I can, can sell my computer. That's my life. Tell your computer to give you money. Give me. Okay, on Saturday. No, today. <laughs> okay, today, give me a mango, sweets, and chocolate. But tomorrow, 20,000. Okay, you check. If you won't give me 20,000, I'm going to talk to mom and dad. <laughs> Ah, I'll try this case. Boys. You know, some people thought going to the moon is just like taking a bus to town. Uh, you know, being 
there is actually much better. No, not in a small country like this. <laughs> in a small country like this, no. I will make it there, trust me. I have big dreams. <laughs> no, you won't. It's Let's possible. Go it's, no, it's not. It's possible, seriously. I, I, I've always wanted, I've always wanted to see how the stars look like and how Earth looks outside. You know, and wearing those astronaut stuff and how it feels like with no air, you know? Or if the star's actually that big, as they say. Or if Mercury is actually real. I think what you have to do is go home and take some food. This is not going to happen. It's going to happen. No, you it's not. Will see. No! <laughs> okay, then. If I... That's not gonna happen in Africa. Come on. It's gonna happen. Seriously, I really wanna join and I really need your approval because Dad's not here. Seriously? But they might have something like school there. No, there's not. Like, I mean, as in the training. They might have, maybe when I'm training, I could also go to school. Do you think that thing is real? It's real! I don't think so. Please, I really need this. I need, I really need your support. Please. Okay. You know what? I agree and I'll agree with you. Because uh, you're my young sister and I have to make sure I protect you. So fine, let's join. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, because of that, I'm not going to tell mom. Oh, okay. How about the 10,000? Should I keep it? You can keep it. Really? But make sure you don't say no on the, at the last minute. <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, we are recruiting our people. Uh, these are the young people who are very motivated. Uh, they're very strong and they, they want to go to the space. Welcome to the Astronaut Project. We are here on the mission to go to the Mars. We astronauts will need to work on the four major things. The first thing, we are going to work on a very good team of astronauts to go to the Mars. And second, we are going to convince people to support our cause, to donate to our mission. So you're gonna go around to do a fundraise. And the third thing, we're going to design and build our own rockets. And fourth, we are going to work uh, to design and come up with the fuel to power our rockets. This uh, fuel is going to come from our own resources right here. 
So those are the four major things for our mission to go to the Mars. The biggest obstacle is to get, uh, to get the funds. Once we got the funds, we will have our design our equipment, train uh, our astronauts, and it will be ready to go to the Mars. Hi, Thank you very much. Thank you. If you go back and you work on a business plan of some sort, then maybe we can help you. But for now, I'm sorry, no. Please. So I've, I've actually got another meeting and I've got a call to take. So I'm going to show you that. Please. Yes. Please. So what happened with the fundraise? Yeah, that's all? Yes. And uh, you are the new recruit? Yeah. Are you ready to join the astronauts? Yes, of course. And uh, what, uh, what about the goods? Uh, I just come to look after it. 
because it's for a donation from the fundraiser. No. Hmm. Are you ready to be an astronaut? Yes, yes sir. sir. We're gonna have to whip you into a good shape. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now astronauts from uh, various different ways. Uh, we train them physically, we train them mentally, train them psychologically to be ready to, uh, to travel uh, to the space, to, to understand the, the mathematics, uh, the calculations and um, everything to do with the, with the space. She packed my bags last night, free flight Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then I miss the earth so much I miss my wife It's lonely out in space On such a timeless flight And I think it's gonna be Touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home sleeping in my class. Well, welcome to the Afronauts class. Here we're going to learn about our own galaxy. And in our galaxy, we can see ourselves, we're right here, in the planet Earth. And we want to go all the way to the moon, and then, if time allows, we'll come by through the mass back to our own planet. I'm sorry, <clears throat> how is that going to happen? Very easy. You can see the tree over there. 
if you can see that tree over there, you can go there. And here, from the planet's Earth, we can see the moon. So, we shall go to the moon. Fifi, our space girl, she's fitting in our, um, um, our program very well. And we think that uh, we should send her uh, because um, she will be a, a, a perfect fit to go to the space. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Is I'm crazy. scared. This is not crazy. This is a G-force. This is what you're going to feel when you're taking off. And if I die? You're not going to die. You know what? You need this, so let's do it. It is 100% safe. You? I thought you were here to protect me. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'll protect you. You won't die. What if Come I on. die? You won't die. You won't. 100% safe? Yeah. Yes, 100% safe. Don't 100 worry. 100% safe. This is a G-force. Don't worry. I don't trust you. You better trust me now. South Africa, are you ready? how it works first no you guys you have to see how like how the instructions are and how you put it together before you need how it works you should do this then this then this mm, no, no. no no i don't think if you understand what you're talking about even you don't know the heading of this uh, of this project you see um look at this this is the step one you should start from step one to the end of how it works Wait a minute. Mm. Did he know and follow all these instructions? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. See, it's a little smooth like this. The water. Hey, do you think them and this help us to take us to the moon? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think we should ask Mr. Rocketman. <laughs> Mr. Rocketman, can you ex please explain to us how can this take us to Mars? This is the uh, same like when you want to learn how to ride a motorbike. You will probably first have to learn how to ride a bicycle. Alright. Let's launch our rocket. So, what do you have a lot in Africa? I don't know. Grass, trees, people, nope. bugs, cows. We have a lot of cow in Africa. And through the cow dung, we get a methane. So, we can use a methane for fuel. Like okay. seriously? Yes. So yes, we're gonna use the cow dung. So that's gonna be our solution to fuel. We're gonna turn the cow dung into methane. We're gonna extract the methane out of the cow dung. And we'll have a fuel. Okay. Now let's see how it's done. Alright. We are now thinking to use uh, to use our, our manure, our our um, 
our natural resources we have here to extract and get um, a good clean environmental fuel to uh, support our rocket to go to space. Why not No, we all gonna work. And then you can feel the real methane. You can feel the fuel. We're gonna get a lot of methane here. Yeah, no, 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 this is good. Really. I can't feel. This is this enough. This can be. Now we are going to fill it up. The methane bomb is the same with the methane fuel we're making. With the combination of the fuel, more chemical, we can make a bomb. Oh. Why yes, we we'll learn that later. But now we're gonna see uh, this mix. And this one. We never want to use a human being for our first flight. So, hi guys. We're going to use a goat as a test pilot for our first rocket flight. You're going to use my goat? Yes, indeed. We're going to use your goat. The goat was, um, was there, was very useful. So, um, we want to use that as a test to see how our rocket is going to function. The pilot is already into the cockpit, so we are almost ready to take off. Mm. Okay. Yes. The pilot is safe and secure. Mr. Rocket man, can I get another god? <laughs> hmm? We're here to honor our space gods. This was a very big loss. The space god was very useful to our astronaut mission. And we feel very sorry to lose our space good. If anybody has a word to say, you're welcome. She was a strong commander and she was doing great things. She was our friend. She was our relative. She was part of our team. From my side, I cannot say anything. I was in love with my God. 
Rest in peace. Thank you very much for all of your efforts. And you will understand that it's not everybody will become an astronaut. So from this point on, I'm going to hand over your final assessment. If you receive a green, you're in. Red, you're out. And we'll start with the lucky. Aman. Africa. Yes, sir. And Fifi. this away. What's wrong? You know if you spoil it, you're gonna pay for it, right? Okay. So what's going on? Well, nothing's wrong. Really? Yes. And you're like this? Hmm. Do you have any brother? May I have a brother? Do you have another one apart from me? No. Then tell me what's going on. Fine, you got picked for the astronaut for me. I didn't get picked. I know everything about astronaut, but you don't even know one thing about the astronaut. You know what? You getting cut doesn't mean the end of the world. You can still do better. You might not be the end of the world, but I really, really, really wanted to be an astronaut. You know what? Those guys are from here, so they, maybe they may need some extras and they'll pick you up. But you got picked. You don't even know anything about astronaut. You don't I even know. know the first person. That's why I'm telling you. Just wait for your turn. Okay, let's do this. On Monday, we're going to the rocket man and talk to him about this. Huh? Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Trust me, I'm your brother. He won't say no. He won't. Trust me. Come on, just smile. You know what? Do you want some tea, maybe? And I'll cook for you today. Just today. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Okay.
Come in. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Um, we just came here just to talk about my sister. Yeah, we got her in this program and she really needs it. Well, we didn't cut her by mistake. We are the freedom fighters. What? We are right now fighting for our freedom, for our country. And this is bloodshed. She's too young for this. What about the astronaut program? The astronaut program? was part of the program to start fighting the war from our own brain, from your mind, to aim higher, to recruit the freedom fighters. It doesn't make sense to me. Did you tell us all these times? We've lost our time over there. I didn't lose your time. But this is how we can get the best freedom fighters and we needed to get a better freedom fighter. And astronaut program is part of changing our minds. It's part of seeing how difference we can make, being able to achieve the greatness, like going to the space. So we are now freedom fighters. We are under colonialization. We are being taught, we are being instructed, we are being um, uh, directed. So now what we want is um, once we have our freedom, we will have, um, we will have more ability to design and choose uh, and plan for ourselves. I think I should join them. Join them. The rocket man, the freedom fighters. You can't, you will die. What will I do then if you die? You know what? I think it's a big respect if you die for your country. That's why I want to join the rebels. At least I want to become an astronaut. I won't die, I won't face any problems except for my gas running out or something. But I won't fight anybody. I won't die by a gun or a knife. You will. What will I do then if you die? Fifi, I am not a warrior, but in times of war, you become what you fear most. Yeah. 
to go and follow my dreams to be an astronaut. I will love you and remember you. Good luck in following your dreams. Pray for me and I will do the same. Goodbye for now. Kiss, hug, kiss, hug, kiss, hug. Your sister, Fifi. do you hold in the organization? I am the Director General of Science Space Research and Philosophy. Dangote baba lao, simba baba lao, chibu baba lao, mondi baba lao, zombi baba lao, magufuli baba lao, makiembe baba lao, wasafi jama lao Ati mselema, ati chaselema, 
Fully babalao, majaliwa babalao.